Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the split screen effect you guys saw in the preview. This is a very cool effect that I've seen on uh, yeah, multiple music videos. I think Lucky or uh, Lone Wolf, who's uh, editing Lucky's music video, has been using that effect a lot. That's uh, like the music videos I've seen it a lot being used in. Uh, and I really, really like this effect and uh, yeah, I wanted to share with you guys how to make this kind of effect. It's pretty simple, but uh, uh, I figured that uh, some of you guys might not know. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Sjöberg. I'm from Sweden. I've been editing for almost 10 years now. And I'm also running the website called editingvisuals.com where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you elevate your editing and save you a lot of time. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to check out the website. It's going to be linked in the description down below. So here in After Effects, I have uh, added some footage or clips here. I'm going to be showcasing this effect on. And what I'm going to be doing is basically start off by uh, pre-composing these clips here. So we can start off by pre-composing each clip. So now we have our clips pre-composed and I think we can start off with the sunset here. Here I'm going to be uh, using the rectangle tool to basically yeah, mask this out. So I'm going to drag a mask here, something like that. Then double click on the mask to move it around a little bit. I want it to be centered. It's going to look something like that. Pretty clean. Then we just have to scale it down a little bit, move it to where we want it, somewhere like this. Open up the layer, go to mask, mask one, and then mask feather. Here I'm gonna wanna set it to 30 pixels. So it's gonna look something like this. I think it looks pretty clean. We can do the normal dancing clip here. So if we make the sunset invisible, here I'm going to mask it out vertically. So something like this here. Move around a little bit by double clicking. Now it's gonna look something like this. Then if we make the sunset visible, we can see a little bit how to move this. I'm gonna move it to the right here. So something like this, maybe scale it down a little bit and then open the layer up, go to mask, mask one, and then set the mask feather to 30 here as well. And then for the last clip here, wide screen, rectangle tool, and then make it wide like this, move around a little bit, then make the others visible, scale it down, something like that. And then the same mask, mask one, mask feather 30. Now we come to the one of the pretty cool parts in my opinion and that is that we could go into each of these clips here and then add effects to these. So I'm going to start off by going to the wide dancing here, make the adjustment layer, control alt Y. I'm going to go to animation presets, use presets, night vision presets. And here I'm going to drop on the low quality night vision and it's going to look something like this here. Very, very cool night vision effect. You guys can make it pop a little bit more in the clip if you add curves to the clip layer, drag it a little bit down. This way we will get this kind of UV light night look. Pretty, pretty cool. So now if we go back, you guys can see it has this kind of night vision look up there. Then we can go to the dancing one. Here we can make a adjustment layer, add the curves, increase the contrast here. And then we could add flicker, random color amplitude to 0 0.5. It's going to look something like this. Then all of a sudden that's flickering. Looking a lot more interesting now. Then we can go to sunset. Here we maybe want to add the adjustment layer. Deep glow. Then drag down the exposure. We could add vignette as well. Drag it above deep glow. Then increase the angle of view to 60. So now this is how our effect looks so far. It's a very very cool and unique uh, yeah, effect you guys could add to your music videos. And for the final touch, control alt Y. Here we could add noise. And I'm going to set it to 20, so we get a nice noise over our uh, clips. If you want to make the noise pop a little bit more, because now we have a uh, like purely black background, then the noise is not going to show. So you can make a new solid. And here on color, instead of having it to pure black, just go a little bit above, do something like that, so it becomes a tiny bit. I mean, I can't even see a difference here, but if you press OK, make it and then drag it under, you guys can see the noise is going to pop here in between the clips which I think looks better so I'm going to keep it at this 
really, really like this look here. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you make this cool split screen effect you guys can use for your music videos. And if you guys want to check out the Night Vision preset pack, which I used for this tutorial, it's going to be linked in the description down below. And it's also going to be uh, included a little discount code there as well. And if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the tutorial. Don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com. Also check out my Instagram, my Discord server, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.